Good day to one and all. Welcome to District 3 Virtual End of School Year Rights for School Year 2020-2021 with the theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, Lalong Patatagin sa Gitna ng Pandemya. This is in recognition to learners' dedication and academic achievements despite the challenges of COVID-19 global health crisis. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, the processional. Public School District Supervisor of District 3, Mrs. Nempha E. Magsayo. Clarine Settlement Integrated School Teaching Force headed by Agnes E. Gagno. Clarine Settlement Barangay Council headed by Barangay Captain Perla B. Pacaro. Edcom Chair Jeffrey T. Lim, PTA President Ramil B. Ipanalo. Binuangan Elementary School Teaching Force headed by Ivani B. Hapon. Binuangan Barangay Council headed by Barangay Captain Carlito L. Idobala. Edcom Chair Archie A. Ighot. PTA President Grace B. Caniete, Burgos Elementary School Teaching Force headed by Sherwin L. Cabanlet, Burgos Barangay Council headed by Barangay Captain Eric H. Guala, Edcom Chair and PTA President Chodoro H. Padugdog, Siriaco Pastrano Memorial Elementary School Teaching Force headed by Merli L. Uba, Siriaco Pastrano Barangay Council, headed by Barangay Captain Samuel J. Uba, Edcom Chair, Elma M. Habagat, PTA President, May P. Dapin, Rizal Elementary School, Teaching Force, headed by Mylene O. Manumo, Lower Rizal Barangay Council, headed by Barangay Captain Dante P. Caboral, Edcom Chair, Kelly M. Pino, Upper Rizal Barangay Council, headed by Barangay Captain Silverio L. Uba, Edcom Chair, Danilo S. Cabiara, PTA President, Florencige G. Bakat, Rizal National High School Teaching Force, headed by Janet B. Castillon, PTA President, Angela V. Lomontod, Sinuti Elementary School Teaching Force headed by Chinanea C. Tokmo Sinuti Barangay Council headed by Barangay Captain Tomas L. Estrada Edcom Chair Romilio I. Balangao PTA President Clifton C. Pumanda Sinuti National High School Teaching Force headed by Mady B. Maghilo Victoria Elementary School Teaching Force Headed by Jovi V. Bustamante, Victoria Barangay Council. Headed by Barangay Captain Mary Ann S. Rubante, Edcom Chair, Nempha C. Villoneva, PTA President, Ray G. Carillo. The Division Officials. Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Rinaldo E. Manuel Jr. OIC Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Roberto D. Napiri Jr. The Curriculum Implementation Division headed by Mr. Francis J. Buak, CID Chief. The School Governance and Operations Division, headed by Mrs. Perlinita L. Glodove, SGOD Chief.
let us all rise for the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the Invocation, Region 10 March, or Roqueta City March. Badang magiliw pero sa sinamanan Alam ng puso sa ligid mo'y buhay Lupang hinirang tuwid ka ng magiti Sa manlulupe di ka pasesin Sa dagat at bundok sa simoy at sa langit mga baba May nilagang tula at awit sa pagdaya ang minamahal Ang isap ng matawat mo'y tagumpay na nagdinigay Ang bituin na araw niyang kailan Pag may day magdidihin Lupa ng araw naman Atin pagsinta Buhay ay langit sa piling mo Ang ilikaya na pag may mga ape Ang mamatay na ang dahil sa'yo Sa 
At this point, let us hear welcome remarks from the OIC Assistant, Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Roberto D. Napiri, Jr. Renowned spiritual and political leader of India, Mahatma Gandhi, once said, and I quote, Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. Today, our dear learners have truly exemplified their inner strength to endure and complete their education despite the challenges of this global health crisis. Department of Education, Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones, Region 10 Regional Director, Dr. Arturo B. Bayocot, Oroqueto City Mayor, Honorable Limuel Merrick M. Acosta, City Vice Mayor, Honorable George T. Almonte, City Councilors, DepEd Oroqueto City Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Rinaldo Emanuel Jr., CID Chief, Mr. Francis J. Bua, SGR Chief, Madam Perlinita L. Godope, fellow school leaders, proud parents, our dear learners, friends, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings of peace and love from the city of good life. I know that our learners are looking forward to this moment, the completion and graduation ceremonies. As much as we wanted to physically celebrate with you today, things turned out differently, not the way we wanted it to be, as our mobility is being restricted for our own good. Nevertheless, 
We are having this virtual completion and graduation program because we believed that no crisis or pandemic could pause or stop us from pursuing your dreams. This year's theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic, is timely and relevant, especially in this unprecedented academic year. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to pose challenges, threats, and difficulties for education, we rise above adversities and we remain strong and steadfast in our belief in ensuring the continuity of quality education and the protection of our learners remains a top priority. Despite the challenges of facing an invisible enemy, the school's division of Araqueta City through the leadership of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Rinaldo Emanuel Jr., is one with the department's unwavering commitment and devotion to lifelong learning as a non-negotiable basic human right of our learners, including the marginalized groups of children in our community. Thus, it is with great pride and honor to be given the opportunity in welcoming you all today in this meaningful occasion of our completers and graduates and to celebrate and recognize this important milestone in their lives. Congratulations, DepEd Araqueta City graduates and completers. Abante, atraka, Araqueta kita! Thank you very much, sir, for your warm words of welcome. Moving on, let us hear a welcome message from our very active and dynamic city mayor, Honorable Lemuel Merrick M. Acusta. Bayong Adlao Oroqueta, way to go. Graduation is the way to go for students. My congratulations to the graduates of 2021. You have survived this and finished a milestone in your lives. You have even handled one unique kind of schooling or education because of the pandemic. You are the first batch of graduates that have undergone what it is to be doing a different kind of learning landscape. Online learning, modular learning, blended learning, whatever it is, you are the first graduates to have ever tried this and you made it. Moving forward, you will be facing a different challenge in life. And one of the major challenge is finding a job. Bini sa dakbayan sa Oroqueta, kita naningkamo nga mapasulod ang mga investors to spur economic activity in the city that will hopefully translate into jobs. Creation of more jobs for Oroquetanos. Because it cannot be denied that employment somehow will lift an individual from poverty. Perseverance is the key. Persevere and believe that an opportunity will come before you in God's perfect time. And in your journey to the future, be Oroqueta's ambassadors of good news. Help the government speak of truth, of love, of goodness, and let us continue to partner for a better Oroqueta. Daghan salamat and God bless us all. Thank you very much, City Mayor, for that profound and inspiring message. Another message will be coming from our very committed and goal-oriented Regional Director of Department of Education Region 10, Dr. Arturo B. Bayukot, CESO 3. Isang maalab at matagumpay na araw po sa ating lahat. Mula dito sa amin sa kagawaran ng edukasyon, samihan ng Mindanao. Graduation, completion, or moving up ceremonies are testimonies of excellent coordination, genuine hard work, and great love. When the COVID-19 pandemic struck the world, hitting the various sectors including education, the Department of Education, through the competent leadership of Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones, firmly accepted the challenge to continue education, bravely wrestling with the challenges of the pandemic and unceasingly finding solutions to address any emerging problems. Amidst all these difficulties, 
emerged excellent coordination across all levels of governance and the different stakeholders with the teachers at the forefront of delivering the basic education learning continuity plan. And here they are, our learners, who willingly submitted themselves to blended distance learning, painstakingly learning the ways of the new learning landscape, and successfully accomplishing all their academic requirements through genuine hard work. But these successes would not have been possible if not for the great love of the parents and guardians who have been selflessly offering their prayers, time, and resources. In other words, the successes of our learners, our teachers, our leaders, and the Department of Education at large, with the unwavering support of all our stakeholders, are products of our collective decision to succeed as one family. On behalf of the entire DepEd Region 10, allow me to thank and congratulate everyone for this great feat, which attests that DepEd indeed is on track. But just like what is said in our theme for this year's end of school year rights, strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic, we need to be on our toes. The COVID-19 pandemic is real and so are other education emergencies. All together, let us rise from this pandemic, recalibrate our learning continuity plans, and continue to deliver quality education for our learners, the heart of DepEd 10. Muli, binabati ko ang lahat ng nagtapos sa taong ito. Hangad namin ang inyong patuloy na tagumpay, anumang landas ang inyong tatahakin. Pagpalain nawa kayo ng poong may kapal. Marami pong salamat. Thank you very much, sir, for that brilliant and passionate words for all of us. The presentation of candidates for completion and graduation by the school head. Good afternoon. I, Agnes E. Gatto, Principal 1, have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion and graduation of Clarine Settlement in Grade School for the school year 2020-2021. Composed of candidates for kindergarten completion of whom 12 males and 8 females with a total of 30. Candidates for grade 6 graduation of whom 9 males and 12 females with a total of 21. Candidates for grade 10 completion of whom 13 males and 16 females with a total of 29. I hereby request the Office of the Public Schools District Supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. Thank you. Good afternoon. I, even if you are someone, teacher in charge, have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion and graduation of Yuangan Elementary School for the school year 2020 to 2021, composed of candidates for kindergarten completion of whom seven males and seven females, with a total of 14. Candidates for grade six graduation of whom 14 males and nine females, with a total of 23. I hereby request the Office of the Public Schools District Supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of this candidate. Thank you. Good afternoon. I, Sherwin L. Cabanlet, teacher in charge, have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion and graduation of Corpus Elementary School for the school year 2020 to 2021, composed of candidates for kindergarten completion, of whom four males and six females, with a total of 10. Candidates for grade six graduation, of whom eight males and five females, with a total of 13. I hereby request the Office of the Public Schools District Supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. Good afternoon. I'm Marnie Elutua, teacher in charge. Have the honor to present you 
Group, the candidates for comprehension and the vision of Sir Yaku Pastrano Memorial Elementary School for the school year 2020-2021, composed of candidates from kindergarten, comprehension of home, two males and two females with a total of four. Candidates for grade 6 graduation of home, four males and five females with a total of nine. I hereby request the Office of the Public Schools District Supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. Good afternoon. I, my name Omenuko, teacher in charge, have the honor of presenting the candidates for completion and graduation of the South Elementary School for the school year 2020-2021 composed of candidates for kindergarten completion of both six males and four females with a total of ten candidates for grade six for graduation of both seven males and eleven females with a total of eighteen. I hereby request the office of the public schools district supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. Thank you. I, Janet B. Castillon, teacher in charge, have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion for Rizal National High School for the school year 2020-2021. Composed of candidates for grade 10 completion of whom 16 males and 17 females with a total of 33. I hereby request the Office of the Public Schools District Supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. Good afternoon. I, Chinania C. Tokmo, Head Teacher 3, have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion and graduation of Sinopi Elementary School for the school year 2020-2021, composed of candidates for kindergarten completion of whom seven males and three females with a total of ten candidates for grade six graduation of whom eleven males and six females with a total of seventeen i hereby request the office of the public schools district supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. Good afternoon. I, Baby B. McKinnon, Head Teacher 1, have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion and graduation of Sinoti National High School for the school year 2020-2021, composed of candidates for grade 10 completion, of whom 17 males and 15 females with a total of 32. Candidates for grade 12 graduation of whom 14 males and 11 females with a total of 25. I hereby request the Office of the Public Schools District Supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. Thank you. Good afternoon. I, Juby V. Bustamante, teacher in charge, have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion and graduation of Victoria Elementary School for the school year 2020 to 2021, composed of candidates for kindergarten completion of whom one male and six females with a total of seven, candidates for grade six graduation of whom five males and three females with a total of eight. I hereby request the Office of the Public Schools District Supervisor to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. Thank you. Certification of candidates for completion and graduation to be done by Public Schools District Supervisor of District 3, Mrs. Nempha E. Magsayo. Nampa E. Magsayo, Officer in Charge, Office of Public Schools District Supervisor of District 3. After scrutiny of the requirements submitted in my office, 
I have found that the learners have completed the requirements for completion and graduation. I therefore certify that these 75 candidates for kindergarten completion, 109 candidates for grade 6 graduation, 93 candidates for grade 10 completion, and 25 candidates for grade 12 graduation have fully satisfied the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Rinaldo Emanuel Jr. says it, Sir, they now await your confirmation. Confirmation of the completers and graduates by the Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Rinaldo E. Manuel Jr. By the authority vested in me by the Secretary of the Department of Education, Leonor Magtulis Briones, and as the Schools Division Superintendent of DepEd Oroquita City Division, after having been presented by the school heads and duly certified by the Public Schools District Supervisor of District 3, that you have completed the basic requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum, I now confirm you, completers, graduates for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations and mabuhay kayong lahat. A woman of strength that has showed the nation that we will get through in this health crisis by her firm stand to continue deliver quality basic education will give us her message. Let us hear our Department of Education Secretary, Madam Leonor Magtulis Briones. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning. 
and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, 
someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survive and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further um, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be opened because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science, in technology, in mathematics, and in the arts. 
all of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity. The door which will help you know more about this world. And the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you parents and family members. Congratulations to you teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because we are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Distribution of Certificates and Diploma Clarine Settlement Integrated School Kindergarten Completers Bacchus Jen J Bukul J Hill U Kalibog Ralph G Gatab JM T Gomolon Neptiril Z Historiador Hasem B Labad Winston D Lapad Denmark P Malones Benedict Jersel A Pata Ryan Chan G Saranchal Justin P Saranchal Rayan P Amores Dwin Matisa P Arado LV A Babao Nanabel M Labad Ayana Chain E Lagani May Marie A Luman Ag Kisha May M Apal Rian May D Verdan Herian Zay C Clarine Settlement Integrated School Elementary Graduates Bacchus J. B. Balabat Raymond M. Buwar Haider B. Bukog Nilo Jr. Q. Dano Joey C. Labad James B. Palma Joshua M. Saranchal Gino P. Uba DJ Chris A. Arado Althea Claire. Bulayo Princess C. Kalamba Jana Maris L. Cuerdo 
Minya K, A, Laure, Shandy, S, Magnaong, Crystal, A, Pasco, Donami, L, Recha, Kyla May, G, With Honors, Saseda, Jolani, Marie, C, Taganahan, Arlene, A, Tiongson, Zian, C, Uba, Via Jin, C, With Honors, Clarine Settlement and Greeted School, Junior High School Completers, Amores Angelo A. Bajang Jerick Jacent C. Kutin Ronald Christian L. Ilaygan Arnel S. Gatab Fredily G. Gumahad Jason C. Horga GB P Ighot Dondi A Lumuntod Alvin Y Lopez Ayan T Maglangit Jericho L With Honors Sumyagon Sherwin J. Carl L. Sumalpong Roy M. Arado Jovi A. Balabat Rena M. Bukog Rian P. Clavete Genevieve J. With Honors Dilatore, Nicole, Adeline, A, with honors. Epong, Kesi, P, with honors. Etum, Mary Chris, P. Gatab, Cherry, B. Labad, Alexa, D. With honors, Laure, Hassel, L, Manlaran, Marcelin, S, Pakaro, Turf Me, Love, M, With honors, Pasco, Jan Marlin, C. So Malpong, Wellet, B. Sumatra, Melody, G. Villaraza, Shane, Nicole, C. With honors. Binuangan Elementary School Kindergarten Completers. Bakubak, Adriel, P. Ron Emmanuel O Dugso Kayel Vince T Iwayan Kurt Andre B Luzano Gian Sile B Kilab Joshua J G Tenorio Marjon V Arseno, Brit Aisaya, Banawa, Alaysa, K, B, Gumapak, Altea, A, J, Inting, Dizzy Jane, R, Labaho, Jaya, M, Masayon, Shane. 
Moneva Generain P. Binawangan Elementary School Elementary Graduates Bansali Aaron J. P. Blase Kait Bularon Trian J. Coronel Charlemagne E. With honor, Ibasan Reynard B. Maglinaw Charlie S. Ordinisa Sim Ashley A. Pangasian Leji B. Panonshal Mark Vincent N. Perez Christian Dave L. Perez Jusel C. Perong Louis J. G. Sobico Rembi L. Zapatos Jasper Nathan C. Baguio Rian May C. Buena Fe, Trisha B. Daron, Ella May O. Inting, Jessica Joy A. With honors, Inting, Jessica May A. With honors, Paris, Desiree J. With honors. Respicio Elisha Grace S. Sobico Chrysaline C. Somili Chris Nicole P. With honors. Burgos Elementary School Kindergarten Completers Alag Raven R. Gujing Jan Lee S. Igot Jamster L. Moschamp Sayam John I. Amansot Samantha Bless B. Arkeza Ada Riomi I. Putin Ishen R. Mitakuan Mitch Ayesha A. Kipanes Princess Kivek J. Yabo Anika P. Burgos Elementary School Elementary Graduates Abtua Stephen Clark N. Bayuna Dave L. Buala, CJ Lee, T. With honors, Kutin, Adrian, T. Havana, Mark Justin, A. Lumasag, John Alfred, C. Padogdog, Mel Vincent, C. Saseda, Earl Angelo, C. With honors. Abdua, Aryan, May. Butalid, Arlene, P. Catalonia, May Angel, B. Horga, Eliza, P. Lumanag, Ashley, Pritz. A. Seriaco Pastrano Memorial Elementary School Kindergarten Completers Lagura Nathaniel Palomo Max Darren T. Dapin Princess May P. Sumatra Harris L. Siriaco Pastrano Memorial Elementary School Elementary Graduates 
Bation, James Kent, M. Dapin, Harold P. Tuliao, Gray B. Villanueva, Ernesto B. Bantiad, Shanaika, Jane C. Bation, Shahana, with honors. Dapin, Laika B. Rabina, Daniela, Jen L. With honors. Tipping, Ruth, Jopi R. With honors. Rizal Elementary School. Kindergarten Completers. Bicoy, Josh Garrett P. Bitanghol, Denmark. Javien, Eugene, Carl Q. Lapad, Jean Chris G. Lopez, Jeff Anderson R. Manlawi, Tristan, John A. Atimana, Chloe Rose S. Kuku, Roxime P. Inagong, Irene Joy L. Pina, Sayradia S. Rizal Elementary School Elementary Graduates Alihai GNE Kalunod Daryl C Dumapi Fernando C Manlawe Jazz C With Honors Manlawe, Jeff C. With honors. Santaren, Gian L. Tomikos, Louis B. Bare, Diesel L. With honors. Bare, Mitchell. C. With honors. Batwigas. Norjila. J. Bilo. Stephanie. P. With honors. Bilo. Trixime. P. With honors. Kairan. Mary Lou. B. With honors, Kamike Jenabel P. Estrano Norin B. Lapad Jonale E. Lasaka Nikki Q. With honors, Mariket. Mary G. R. Rizal National High School Junior High School Completers Anino Dan Louie P. With Honors Bare Fernan C. Kaay Ednel L. Cabiera Angelo L. Carillo J. Boy O. Garcines, Arnel A. With honors. Limosniro, Dan Adrian P. Marshall, Jerome B. With high honors. Pabate, Paulo Jr. M. With high honors. Palpagan, Carl 
Jangelo M. Pangasian Axel Janzen L. Pujutan Christian Ray P. Pulbos Jemar A. Ramos Jericho S. Takan Ariel A. With high honors. Villanueva Janjin C. Albesa Maria Antoinette A. Apos Glicharm L. With high honors. Arado Mary May B. Ate Christine Joy C. With honors. Kairan Lowell Joan B. With highest honors. Kalamian Charisse Jen C. With honors. Dapin Dissime B. Darcinas Arcel A. With honors. Kumapa Janine S. With honors. Habaga Margie Q. With honors. Pabate Angelica T. Pipito Relin J. Pino Jeffrey U. With honors. Reganette Charmaine D. Salvalion Rochelle A. With honors. Sumagang Angel May V. With high honors. Tomikos Leon B. Sinote Elementary School Kindergarten Completers Bikoy Zakari Kaiser Chong Jason P Dumaon Giancarlo D Omlan Jorin T Rendon Sean Daniel P Sumalpong Remar S Templa Mark Sainiger Jax T Bugahod Natalie Angel T Itong Princess Kate L Makabangkit Afisa Sinote Elementary School Elementary Graduates Abelianosa John Rowin Abuhun John G. Jr. A Antepuesto Kent Louis Dumaog Mark E Lapura TJ Zan G Lukot Gerald A Lumasag John Roy E Pangasian, Kid Lawrence B. With honors. Somili, R.G. M. Talirungan, John Kurt P. Tuliao, Michael Ray C. Balukan, Leia Jane M. Bandala, Chelly S. Kalimpong April Rose I with honors. Idulan Renzi M. Mlan Catherine E with honors. Tamayo Mitchell M. with honors. Sinote National High School Junior High School Completers Antonio Junior 
Edward O. with honors. Bicoy Efrilito D. Kalimpong Jean Michael I. Kalipusan Flaviano Jr. P. Coronel Alan Jr. C. Eleksyon Marlon Jr. M. Gera Jomari B. With honors. Ongkoy Fritz C. With high honors. Pacaro Carlo. Ponce Tristan Lee A. Pusod Jezreel A. Sumalpong Carl C. With honors. Talirungan Vince John P. Yator Roger Jr. Y. Yunting John F. Andukal Janie P. With honors. Antonio Edlin O. With high honors. Bandala Lenby M. Borja IV S. With high honors. Borja Lady Joy P. With honors. Borja Sheena M. Kumiling Jeza A. Coronel Lord Mary Rose M. Fernandez Jessica P. Masayon Desime T. Mona Jessa B. With high honors. Omland Carmeline A. With high honors. Aler Lisa May C. With honors. Ranupo Jaya C. With honors. Sumailo Marijulin L. Tapay Fredsel P. With high honors. Villarimo Merafer B. With honors. Sinote National High School Senior High School Graduates Bansale Josette Junior A Bugahod James Clifford D Kabahog James Junior O Dumaog Elizar P Itong Erwin G. L. With honors. Magtagad Reggie D. Moneva Jiglen P. With honors. Paler Nell C. Pangasian Kent B. With high honors. Subiko Rene L. Tamayo Ronel M. Tapay Lanel P. With honors. Tolomia Junior Alan A. Tolomia Ariel A. Batoy Rosaline A. With high honors. Borja Jackie May C. With honors. Borja Rona S. With honors. Kaliso Michelle D. With high honors. 
Taliso Margie D. With high honors, Encarnacion Erika P. With honors, Coronel Rizel May C. With honors, Paderna Jaya May T. Ponce Deseri T. With honors, Subico Rena L. Sumailo Margie L. Victoria Elementary School Kindergarten Completers Robante Geo B Benanoa Jolie May V Cabahog Angel May C Carillo Irene P Gomatos Crystal Rose B Gomolon Christine B. Paklipan Edchel May G. Victoria Elementary School Elementary Graduates Bajang Daryl C. Ego Justine A. With Honors Gumulon Joelmar L. Lapad Harold L. Makupa, Josel V. Calamian, Charlie May C. Carillo, Julien C. Sugalam, Emmy Lorin. Message from the Batch for Elementary, Kyla May G. Richa from Clarine Settlement Integrated School with honors for junior high school Lowell Joan B. Kairan from Rizal National High School with highest honors for senior high school Michelle D. Caliso from Cenote National High School with high honors not so long ago when I dared to dream and I dared to take the first step towards the fulfillment of my elementary education. Today, together with my batchmates, celebrate our success after all these years of hardship, struggles, and perseverance. We reminisce the challenges that stood before us, and we savor the victories that came upon our hands. My respect to our school's division Superintendent Dr. Ronaldo Emmanuel Jr. Sassi to our District 3 Education Program Supervisor Sir Ginesha Liwagon Jr. to our OIC District Supervisor Mrs. Nimfa E. Magsayo to our Dynamic and Stunning School Principal Mrs. Agnes E. Gagno to our Honorable Barangay Captains and Officials of Different Barangays District 3 Force Fellow Graduates Dear Parents Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon to all of you. Today features another milestone in the lives of graduating pupils like us. We tend to view our graduation day as a happy event. However, there are aspects of it that can make us feel confused and sad. This is also a sad day because we were leaving the portals of our dearest alma mater which cradled us when we're still young boys and girls wanting to be involved in the daily school activities. Speaking in front of everybody has this feeling of pride and happiness because I have proved myself that through perseverance and unfailing hard work, nothing is impossible. With the team, Kalidad ng Edukasyon Nalong Patagin sa Gitna ng Pandemya, aims to strengthen and deliver quality education to the learners in a new normal situation in which we encounter different modes of learning such as modular, digi digital, offline, and radio-based instruction. The 
education system aims to strengthen engagements between schools and parents on effective practices to support each other child's learning. Despite the pandemic that we experience, our teachers keep us to learn, motivate, and inspire to us to continue learning. They help us to combat the battles that may come our way. They help us to transform into more responsible, competent, and skilled individuals ready to conquer the world. My fellow graduates, we cannot deny that every one of us can continue the course of studies and earn a college degree. We can still be leaders in our simplest ways, applying the self-discipline and basic competencies offered by K-12 curriculum. We lead us to a brighter future and be a part of developing society where everybody enjoys the gift of living. Before we finally leave our alma mater, we would like to acknowledge the people who have turned us to what we are now. To our beloved parents, we thank you for an ending support and sacrifices just to guide us in our everyday tasks even if you're engrossed with your work. You tried your best to share to the best that you can. Your sacrifice surely may not in vain. To our teachers, we are forever grateful for the sacrifices and selfless service you have given us. You deliver the learning materials to our home so that we may be able to reach our target lessons every day. We are so thankful that despite how busy you are, you gave time to visit us, knowing that everything is okay. The knowledge and skills you have taught us will be your armor and shield in facing the world with head up high. For that, we will still remain in our hearts. To our friends and schoolmates, we are about to part ways to fight the right track that lies ahead. We will forever cherish the memories, both laughter and pain we shared together. But I know deep within my heart, we may be miles away. We will be always there in one accord chasing the impossible dreams that are planned for us. To our dear alma mater, Thank you very much for carrying us for our long years. Now that we are living, we cannot help but to carry with us the victories we have with you. The class 2020-2021 will leave a legacy which will be forever be each in your history as an institution of basic education. Above all, to all our mighty Father God, for the gift of life, for the wisdom and expertise you have bestowed upon us. We pray earnestly that you will continue to guide us as we follow the direction towards the attainment of our dreams. To this end, I urge my fellow graduates to be one with me in giving back the honor who have molded us to what we have become. We can be leaders in our own little way. Thank you very much. Good afternoon everyone, especially to our school's division superintendent, Dr. Rinaldo Imanu Jr. C.C., to our OIC assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Roberto Dinapiri Jr., to our school leaders, to dedicated teachers, to our supportive parents, and to my fellow grade 10 completers. Today is the turning point in each of our lives. We have spent the past years wandering the halls of our respective schools and now are ready to go on. We have learned, loved, loved, went through trials and challenges, and most of all, matured together. But today doesn't just concern reminiscing about the past. It's also looking forward into our future. This pandemic taught us a lot of lessons. It taught us to be more grateful instead of complaining. It also taught us that waking up every day with good health is more important than any material things in this world. And most of all, it taught me to become stronger and more independent because of course, there's no face-to-face -face classes and we have to answer our modules on our own ways. But, despite from any of this, I just consider this as a big challenge that can be surpassed. In my case, sometimes I really get tired because I have to answer my activity sheets while babysitting and as an eldest, I have to do the household course. But despite from this multiple tasks, 
I'm so very thankful because through this pandemic, I discovered the deeper meaning of education. In these times, education is the most important thing. And even though, even though there's a health crisis, nothing can stop us to seek knowledge. So I am very thankful to the Department of Education because they never let the students stop learning. Parents, thank you for always being here for me, even with my ups and downs. I may not be the best daughter for you, but you never give up on me. I can consider myself as the luckiest one because you're my parents. This is just the beginning of my journey, and I will make you even proud if you see me graduate in college. Thank you for everything, and I love you. Likewise, with all the parents of grade completers, this is the moment that we are waiting for that we can finally complete junior high school and bring pride in our family. To my friends, you know how much important you are in my life. Thank you for being one of my inspiration and thank you for the memories we shared together. I promise that I'll treasure it forever. To our supportive school head and to the best teachers of our respective schools, you all have helped shape us into better individuals you see today. And I can say in total confidence that without you, we would become very different as what we are now. To our respective barangay officials, local government of Oriqueta, other benefactors and stakeholders, thank you for helping the school improve and become a better place to learn. And most of all, to our Almighty God. Our relationship is special because He gave me more blessings of wisdom and strength. He never leave me alone and have founded my inner self to be strong at all times. That's why I am very blessed and grateful of knowing him. To my fellow completers, always remember this famous quote by David Frost. Don't aim for success. If you want it, just do what you love and believe in and it will come naturally. Together, let us keep all the lessons we learned and cherish through our lives. Thank you and may God bless us always. To our most team officials in the Department of Education, our Catholic City Division, headed by our school's division superintendent, Dr. Rinaldo Emanuel Jr. Sessi, to our assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Roberto Medina Pui Jr., to our curriculum implementation division chief, Mr. Francis J. Bua, school governance division chief, Ma'am Perlinita M. Lodovic, to the public school's district supervisor of district three, Ma'am Nempa Magsayo, to all school heads of District 3, teachers, and my fellow graduates, good afternoon. Today marks us one of the highlights in our lives. This is the reality of our dreams and our parents' dreams. All the sacrifices have been paid off for the past two years as senior high school students. Looking back when we were grade 11, can we still remember the sleepless night we spent just to finish our projects? Until we've reached grade 12, we're in, I consider, as the most challenging part of my life as a student because of the global health crisis we are battling until now. We were hindered for face-to-face -face interaction, but it didn't stop our momentum to learn. We had given options by our educators that would suit to our learning needs and accessibility, and we are beyond grateful for that. Though we can say those uncertain times, but fast forward for today. With pride and humility, we can say it with dignity. Our success is not solely ours. This is also credited to the people who extended extraordinary help and sacrifices to reach this far to the internal and external stakeholders of the respective schools. Thank you for joining us for being innocent to individuals who have vision and aspirations. Thank you for preparing us to the real life and for always bridging the gap. We truly appreciate your efforts, especially in this new normal in education, for visiting our residents just to make sure that we receive self-learning materials timely for the constant update through texts, calls, and chats, and always answering our comments. To our parents, the word thank you is an understatement to all the support you've done for us, for sending us to school, especially for your support in getting and distributing our self-learning modules in school on time. 
for attending to our needs and most especially to the love and care. Your contribution is uncountable. To our fellow graduates, I am so proud of you all. Our high school life ended with hard work and perseverance. With that, we are about to unfold another essential milestone in our lives. Whatever be our chosen exits, some of us here might proceed to Kulaheyo, some will start their negotiation, while well, some will try their luck in Cuba. Whatever it is, always take pride of how far you have come and how far you can go. Thank you so much and once again, congratulations on our victory. Pledge of Loyalty Please raise your right hand and repeat after me for the Pledge of Loyalty. We so solemnly pledge that we will be faithful to our alma mater and we will cherish its ideals and uphold at all times its traditions of service, that we will work incessantly and devotedly to help secure a better and fuller life, not only for ourselves and family, but above all, our community and country. This we pledge, so help us God. We would like to acknowledge the untiring and continued support of the following the local government unit of Oroqueta City, headed by our City Mayor, Honorable Lemuel Merrick M. Acosta, City Vice Mayor, Honorable George T. Almonte, the City Councilors, DepEd Oroqueta City Division, headed by Dr. Rinaldo E. Manuel Jr., Clarine Settlement Barangay Officials, headed by Barangay Captain Perla B. Pacaro, Binuangan Barangay Officials, headed by Barangay Captain Carlito L. Idubala, Burgos Barangay Officials, headed by Barangay Captain Eric H. Buala, Seriaco Pastrano Barangay Officials, headed by Barangay Captain Samuel J. Uba, Lower Rizal Barangay Officials, headed by Barangay Captain Dan Dante Cabural, Upper Rizal Barangay Officials, headed by Barangay Captain Silverio Uba, Senote Barangay Officials, headed by Barangay Captain Tomas L. Estrada, Victoria Barangay Officials, headed by Barangay Captain Mary Ann S. Rubante, Mrs. Nemfa E. Magsayo, District 3 Public Schools District Supervisor, Clarine Settlement Integrated School, School Head and Teaching Force, Binuangan Elementary School, School Head and Teaching Force, Burgos Elementary School, School Head and Teaching Force, Siriaco Pastrano Memorial Elementary School, School Head and Teaching Force, Rizal Elementary School, School Head and Teaching Force, Rizal National High School, School Head and Teaching Force, Sinote Elementary School, School Head and Teaching Force, Sinote National High School, School Head and Teaching Force, Victoria Elementary School, School Head and Teaching Force. That was District 3 Virtual End of School Year Rights for 2020-2021. Congratulations to our computers, graduates, and awardees. This is your host Sherwin L. Cabandet saying, Abante atraka oroketa kita sa deped oroketa bata ang bida. Thank you and keep safe everyone.